Mr. Tap Tap, and welcome to Let's Play Copy Kitty. Special delivery for Boki. Hello, Parker. Yes, special delivery for Parker, too. Yes, I know. Hmm? Oh, it's for my uncle. He told me you should play it right away. Have fun! It's not suspicious at all. <laughs> just kick the door close! Oh, she's got some good posters in her room. I just noticed. She, she's got, like, a flaming skull on the ceiling. That's a good place for a poster. Um, she's got, you know, little Mary cutie pie on the wall there with, like, a tentacle growing out of her eye socket. That's nice. Uh, she's got a wall xylophone. That's a good place for a xylophone. You know, the wall. I mean, where else are you gonna put it? I'm just, I'm just admiring. She's got multiple presents. I guess it's her birthday, so I guess she just had a bunch of present boxes. Who, who has ever gotten a present with, like, a removable pop box? I mean, I guess I've got a, gotten a couple like that, but I mean... Most of the times it's just wrapping paper. Anyway. Wait, isn't this a military training program? What kind of dumb present is that? Oh, she's got an SNES! Oh, you can't see it anymore. It's gone. It just got matrixed. I'm sorry. I know it's too late. Whoa, I take that back! This is cool! What else are you expecting? I created it, after all. Oh, look at you! Aren't you fancy? Well, this device will allow you to practice using that unique ability of yours. My powers? How can you call them unique if I'm just copying whatever's around me? I know you're dissatisfied with your abilities, but if you practice, you'll be surprised at what you can do. Like jumping with A. Oh. That's... The that options aren't quite wrong. They aren't quite great, rather. So this is Copy Kitty! A review copy of this was provided by Degisa Games, who is uh, now the publisher for this. This game's been in early access of a sort for a while. It's just now in Steam early access, finally. Um, so it's it's getting pretty far along, as far as I can tell. Um, not exactly sure of its position in terms of um, completion. Switch. Uh, Force, as I recall, is like a it's a pretty basic one. Ooh, plasma. That sounds good. Aw, oh, yes! So... This is the game, it's kind of like, um... Huh? Oh, a kick is, uh... It's the bumper, not the, uh... Trigger. Okay, uh... So you can press B to fire a combined shot that combines all of your abilities. Uh, force is pretty crappy, so... That's much better, isn't it? Uh... So in this game, it's kind of like... Kirby 64's copy ability combinations, but super, like... Uh, like, way souped up. So, like, you can combine all three of your abilities at once. Um, you can collect a whole bunch of different abilities from, uh, enemies. And there's a whole ton of... I'm not sure exactly how many powers are in the game. But as you can see, there's a whole bunch going on right now. Uh, you can only carry three. But you, can, you can switch it up with the... Uh, <laughs> cute little, uh, flourish there when you beat the end last enemy. Are you sure this will help? It's too easy, Meow. Oh, and she changes colors when you get power-ups, kind of like Kirby and, uh, Superstar. I kinda wish they would bring that feature back. But you didn't notice what you did. Every combination of abilities gives you a completely new weapon. Yeah, but heroes always have their own powers. All I can do is copy. Aha, uh -huh. but isn't that a unique and memorable ability on its own? According to my calculations, you can make up to 3 sigma k equals 1, parentheses 10 ck, parentheses plus 18 weapons by copying the enemies. In the simulation alone. That's just a number, and I don't even know what it means, you nerd. It means that I'm very confident in your abilities. Now, go discover that for yourself, too. Good luck. Look at his... He's like, his plaid pattern is just like a static texture as his sprite moves around. Oh, I'm, I just got matrixed. I know Kung Fu. So yeah, you, this has been on Ichio before. I played it a teeny bit. But, um, I'm just gonna jump right into the main game here. I really like these aesthetics we got going on here. Uh, plasma seems better. Oh, we got some very, uh, Smash Bros. Break the Targets looking things going on here. It's like, the game's built up of a bunch of, uh, levels, is, is pretty standard. And, uh, hey, I guess those deal contact damage. I like they're not just targets, they have little faces on them. Oh, excuse me. Very large. So this game has a lot of visual flair, and the music really com 
the companies are really well too. It's just so high energy. Uh, there's, there's a bunch of, oh, I should mention, um, in the graphics options, you can turn down all of the graphical effects, you know, if you have, uh, you know, code sensitive seizures or whatever. Um, I mean, even the minimal effects, this is the minimum level. There's still quite a bit going on, so I'm not sure this would be, you know, too good of a game to play if you have that, but um, you can definitely minimize if it, you know, just happens to annoy you or whatever. Um, I'm going to be playing at the uh, regular level. Uh, a complaint this game I got, I think, in its you know earlier forms was that you know it was a bit too flashy with the effects, and uh, so there's pretty good options to control that now. I really like when games you know um, they give you options. You know, I I'm a big fan of options. It's very rarely that I will complain that there's too many options unless they're like absolutely required. As long as you get uh, you know, as long as you get your defaults right, which this game uh, I believe the defaults were like in the middle here. So like you can go all the way to shiny effects, carefully sensitive moving lights or patterns, max intensity backgrounds. Yeah, I'm gonna just be on medium. I'm pretty sure that's what the default was. You can you can turn down a lot of stuff. Uh, how do you feel, Boki? Are you getting used to the fighting the simulation yet? Yeah, I guess. This stuff is still easy stuff, right? I need to get better with my powers already. Hurry up and let me blast some tougher robots. I've calibrated the simulation with your abilities and needs in mind. Trust me. Plenty of challenges await you, such as the no starting weapons challenge. <laughs> I like those chunks that come out. Ooh, lightning! Oh, what? It's like even better plasma. Oh, awesome. See, I'm gonna be leaving the effects at normal. Um, might still be too much for some people. You can turn it down a little bit more. Um, definitely not gonna put it up at the maximum. Um, I don't think this is too much, there's obviously a lot going on. It's um, it was kind of too much for my other recording software. <laughs> nice. I like how it kind of like, the the terrain destruction reminds me a lot of uh, oh, it's got little just in time tutorials. I love when games do that, like, you know, there was the guided tutorial earlier, but like I was kind of stuck for a second there, and I mean, I just wasn't firing. And the game was like, hey, maybe they're stuck, I should, you know, give this pop-up. I really love when games can do stuff like that, cause, like, it doesn't bog down people that already know what they're doing, because, you know, they won't see those tutorials, probably. Uh, but if people need it, it does show them. So when you don't have any powers, you have... Wait, I got Flame Talisman. That's... Is that not a thing? Oh, it's a boost drive. Flame Talisman. Fire added... Is added to all weapons. Yeah. So it's like a accessory slot, sort of. Like, it's a passive buff to everything. So force seems to be the basic, like, just barely above your default weapon sort of thing. Like, it functions identically, and it seems to do more damage. Wave. Passes through walls! Ooh. And the game has, like, a slight lock-on mechanic. Like, I'm playing with my Xbox One controller here, and, like, you can, um... You sort of pick where you shoot. You choose which of the eight directions you shoot in, and then from there, the game sort of, like, locks on just a teeny bit extra. Do these not combine? Reach Buster. I guess they do combine. And you gain ammo, like, separately for each thing, unless you get, um, like, there's some ammo pickups I saw earlier. Oh, shoot little tornadoes at you. Um, uh, so I don't know what all the combinations are in this. Oh, tornado is a power. Holy crap! That is awesome! Wow. Tornado is even better than the lightning. Oh, damn. See, so, yeah, obviously a lot of I just really like uh, the music, the visual effects, and the gameplay just have this real high energy feel, and I really like that. Uh, oh. Hello? Uh oh. Is that bad? Did the music just get louder? I'm not sure what that's about. Ow. Strange. This guy doesn't show damage numbers. Wait, do only I show damage numbers? What's my- oh, that's my ammo? have very little ammo left, I guess. Did you die already? I don't think I turned up the volume. I guess I left it kind of high. But... Oh well, I'll just edit post. 500. Oh, that's score! That's not- that's not damage that those numbers are. That's score when you defeat an enemy, I think. Wait. Hold jump. Dextral destroyer. Sinister slash. Light of Ra. Uh, 
doesn't really seem worth the charge up time. I guess that's like score. Those numbers that you see. All right, let's see if this. Let's see how this works against a big group. Uh, rather unimpressive, really. Oh, how do I? I think it's just like every fourth shot or something you get that spread shot. Oh, I gotta fight another thing. All right, now maybe this is worth it. Oh gosh, dang it. Everything cancels. Okay, you know what? No, that attack just sucks. Oh, I have a health. Verse? Is that what this thing's called? Oops. You may not think much of your abilities, but you're an entomana just like me. They both have supernatural powers. Most other people do not. With enough practice, you can do great things, Boki. Great things? Like what, driving a robot around? Come on. You don't need magic powers to do that, Meow. That Verz is not a vehicle. You may not even realize it, but use your power to copy its control crystal that allowed you to pilot it. Look forward to seeing what other elegant solutions you come up with later. Alright. Bunny Jail! Uh-oh. We ate too many carrots and now it's time for Bunny Jail. It's matrix the uh, intermission effect. Now for this next test, you'll be locked in prison with evil rabbits. <sighs> the cruelest fate. You must defeat them to escape. What is this even supposed to be simulating? <laughs> Do not question the training. You must be prepared for everything, even bunny jail. Ah, oh, sweet! Um, no, I guess the tornado isn't as good solo. Alright. Oh, holy crap! The tornado is freaking awesome. I, I I never want anything but the tornado. Not even what is that remote? Oh no, I wanted the tornado. Wait, how does it? Oh, I got the um. <laughs> Speaking of Kirby 64, I got the um. You know the thing. The um, I think it's cutter and bomb. The uh, that effect. Gems and colors. Oh, hello. Rude. Get off the ceiling. That's what you get. I get- I got quick attack! Literally! Quick attack from Pokémon. Shoot lots of stars. Alright. Wait, can I wall jump or just double jump? Nah, just- just the double jump. What? Whoa, what?! Okay, so lightning and quick gives you like a slashy attack. Maverick Hunter. Not sure what that's for. Oh, it's uh, it's a uh, okay. Wave I don't need. Huh? Oh, sweet. Huh? Oh, I already beat it. Demolition. Right, so some really cool combinations here. I really like the, like, intensity that the max combinations have. I can't quite tell if they're, like, custom tailored. Uh, I think they have names, too. If I get, yeah, like, cathode beam. It's like, they feel very, like, polished. Let's get explode. Devastator. Oh, force probably means it's not too impressive. Eh, it's alright. Yeah, the force seems to be pretty bad. What is this? Flame talisman. Um, it's straight flame. It's straight. Like what? Psyche? Oh, it's a solo weapon. So I guess that means it doesn't combine with the other ones. Summon six psyches that follow you around and ram enemies. It did not seem to be that effective. So yeah, let's just get our force, my force back. The force kind of sucks, but explosion. Wait, power kick? Doubles your kick damage. It increases its radius. Ooh. Definitely trade force for lightning. Let's see what we got. That's better. That made that help actually. What is it doing? I think it's like yeah, it's this just fire damage over time. Oh, awesome. Anything with the lightning or thunder, I love. I need lightning, thunder, and plasma. That that seems like it must create the coolest thing. Wait, I have lightning and plasma. 
this one isn't super great. What are- oh, those are my own thingies from before. Where's the last en- oh, there's, a, there's an arrow that leads you to the enemies. There we go. Yes, Barker. Combine! Who's starting on this? It's Nova! Get out of here, Nova. Par Parker! Ah. Parker is the true final boss. Get down. Oh. Rude. Oh, I see. You got a bulky beam as your default power. So, I guess I gotta collect power ups from his little minions. Just force. That kinda sucks. Oh, hey. I can get all through. Alright. What's this? Phase rocket! Eh. Wait. Maybe it does show damage numbers. The bot. Uh, uh, oh, oh, he has a he has a health bar. Okay, I see. Speaking of health bar, I'm taking some damage. I should. Ow, ow. Okay, that's bad. Uh, anybody want to drop me some health, maybe? All right. Oof. At least he kind of he telegraphs where he's gonna attack. I say as I just sit there and let him hit me. Holy crap! What? What just happened? What's that? Magna Crush? Solo weapon. Lock some of the nearest enemy and slam it. Oh hey, I did get some health. Okay, so I guess phase two, get draw some health. Nice! <laughs> this power is awesome! And she's purple! Ah. Okay, so this is a solo weapon worth d disabling your other weapons for. Oh, and that red screen effect is your low health thing. I actually prefer that visual indicator to the standard... Um, you can turn off the low health indicator, by the way, which I think every game should have. Like, I absolutely hate the low health indicator in Zelda. I have killed myself in Zelda so many times just to stop hearing that stupid sound. Uh, I, I can't believe it's still a thing. At least give me an option, seriously. I won! Just got a cute little pose there. Very good, but you handled your first major encounter quite well. Thanks, Meow, but this is just a simulation, right? I'll be this strong in real life. Any victory you achieve here, you're perfectly capable of accomplishing against the same enemies in real life, too. In fact, it's about time to start attacking some of the more lifelike scenarios the simulation has to offer. Oh, we've got the, the dot hack hexagons happening. Your next mission is in this forest. I'll give you a more detailed briefing in the next area. Good luck. World 2, The Wilds. Right, hold on though. Dandelion Grove. I think I'm gonna split up. I'm gonna play more of this game, but I'm gonna split it up until until one episode per world, I guess. Um, I really hope this recorded properly. I, I think I've switched over to 100% recording in um, Open Broadcaster Studio. And, um... Yeah, that's right, Parker. Um, I think I've solved my last issues with OBS. Um, that's a streaming software, actually, but it's recording stuff, at least in OBS Studio, the new version. Uh, seems pretty solid. I, I I don't really think you really need to pay for uh, decent video recording software anymore, which, that's nice. Though really, the editing software is what's really expensive anyway. But uh, I'm not aware of anything free that really remotely matches the power of... Uh, what I use is Movie Studio Platinum, Sony Movie Studio Platinum. It's got some ups and downs, but for the most part, it's pretty much everything you need. For, you know, game recording stuff at 60 frames per second, and I got it for like 40 bucks on Steam. It was in a sale, but um, it works very well. And your next step up is like $300 plus, like Camtasia 300. Uh, Sony Movies, there's Sony Vegas. I think it's like 600. It's expensive. Anyway, that's that's not important. More Copy Kitty coming later. Yes, Parker. You're quite the Copy Kitty yourself, aren't you? No. No, you're wrong. Shut up.